Final minute of play here in this opening period. And back for that now is Lockberg back in his own zone. Frederickstad, Norway native, dropped it off there for Norland. And the Warriors making and completing a change. Jackson Kierkost is riding a four-game point streak. Rocking in, scores! Jackson Kierkostas with 43 seconds to go in the opening period. A gorgeous end to end. Rush caps it off with a shot from the right circle. And Kierkostas has his seventh that has the Warriors ahead. 1-0 late in the first period. What a rush up ice that was by Kierkostas. And boy, he's got great speed. He showed it off there and a terrific shot to give the Warriors a 1-0 lead. Yeah, Jackson's one of those creative players, and when you give him time and space like that, he's just going to make you pay with this. On to it now are the Spruce Kings, but a good job by Hughes to forecheck and try to take that puck away. It's loose on the right side now where Hughes will gather it again. To the middle it goes. Here's Hill that spun a pass left circle. Pridham, back door, Hughes! What a stop! The rebound comes free! And Ouellette was able to keep that one out. What a pass by Jack Pridham from the corner as he spots Cal Hughes down the right side. Hughes with a shot and Ouellette stretching out makes a tremendous save. And five minutes gone here in the second period. One now remains the score. What a great save that was by Marcus Ouellette and a great chance for the Warriors to try and get up by two. Yeah, that was an incredible save, but I love the puck movement there and just a great find there by Freedom backdoor. And, you know, it's going to come if you keep playing like this. That one just found a way to squeak through all the traffic and all of Justin Katz and just get past him on his blocker side. So Ballantyne, looks like he'll be the one that gets the marker, his second goal of the season. And Prince George has tied it up on the power play and have got this game to even terms. It's one to one back into the Spruce Kings now. Cornwallier to the side of the net and Katz there to make the save and hang on with 2.24 to go here in the second frame. And I think also the bigger Bennett right off the draw, they score! It's Alexi Cornwallier with a shot from the left circle that beats Justin Katz. And just like that, Prince George has taken the lead. Two to one for the Spruce Kings. Yeah, just an unfortunate turn of events there, how just again that power play goal just gives us some, them some momentum there, but just gotta, you know, push back and forget about it and move on. So the power play goal from Ballantyne, and now the marker coming from Cornwallier, who picks up his third goal. The Sills off the penalty. They're three for three on the penalty kill so far tonight. And this is dumped in here by Macau. Worked to the middle of the ice, put to the net on a backhand try by Cornwallier. Who's puck left side? Prince George scores. That puck came to the left wing, and it was Lyndon Macau in the left circle who fires it home, past the down and out Justin Katz. McCow gets the mark third of the season, and the Spruce Kings on their first shot of the period find the back of the net and lead the game three to one. Cornwallier brought that puck in. I'm not really sure how it, it might have worked off a body and came right to the left side. And I mean, Cornwallier just tried to get that puck to the net. And then it was Langdon who found the loose puck in the right circle. 15 seconds to go in the third period. Hogue up with it. Along the right side for Norlin. Out at center, a bouncing puck. The Warriors making a change. Seven seconds to go in the third. Osmus back in down the right side. He was run into as the puck comes back out at center. And that will sound the buzzer. This one's over. Prince George with three unanswered goals after giving up the first one. They win this hockey game. Three won the final score. A tough one for the Warriors after such a good start to this hockey game.